So for this demonstration, we've imported into a project a full 3D model. Our full 3D model is of this Star Wars ship. And what we're going to do is actually create this as a 3D relief in which we're going to start sculpting on. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and create a relief from the model. So this is going to create my Star Wars model with a top and a bottom relief. Due to the positioning of the model, it will create the top, which if I just hide away the 3D model, here we see the top. If I want to see the bottom, I'm coming over to the model and here is the undercarriage at the bottom of the ship. I'll come across to the front and there we can see the front. Now if we want to view both of these together, what we can do is we can right click and go to our object to draw, which is where we showed our vectors. We can also show our double sided relief. I do need to turn off my front relief for this and we can see we've got a front and back relief which we can start to work on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start to actually create some parts on this ship. So we're going to just view this from the top down. And then we're going to turn on our vectors. So objects to draw vectors from the right click menu. And I'm going to come to right clicking and drawing and I'm going to draw a line. If we go through this again, drawing polyline from here to here, 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 and I'm also going to do one on the top. So I'm going to go from here to here, to here, here, and across to there. So we've got two vectors there, which I'm going to just select. I'm going to rotate this slightly and use the shape editor to reduce it by two millimeters. We've created this cut. Now we're going to take a look at sculpting on it. So this is currently what we're producing on the front of our design. And obviously produce this on the back as well by coming over to our back relief layer and creating artwork on the back of our design. So that's using vectors on the model. Next thing we'll take a look at is using sculpting. So I'm going to turn off my vectors I'll come from the top down. What we're going to do is we're going to come to one of the sculpting tools and we're going to come to the carve brush and we're going to just start to carve in on the front relief. Just going to start to carve in a hole from the top down. As you can see, we've actually managed to carve all the way through to the back relief. If I make this hole much bigger and reverse over to the back, you'll be able to see we've actually cut a hole through the back relief. Now we've gone a bit too far, but if we just undo some of those steps, you can see we have the ability to sculpt through right to the back. Also, not only can we sculpt on the front, but if I flip over to the back, as mentioned, we can sculpt on the back as well. So if I use the same tool I'm currently using on the back relief, I can then start to free sculpt on the back as I choose. So you can see the ability of working with 3D models using the front and back relief combined, the ability to see what your finished model will look like, the ability to sculpt and to model on or on the triangle front and back relief.